Just as Jesus died and has risen again, so through Jesus God will bring him those who have fallen asleep. And as in Adam all die, so also in Christ will all be brought to life. En el nombre del Padre, y del Hijo, y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. El Señor esté con ustedes y con tu espíritu. Hermanos, para celebrar dignamente estos sagrados misterios, reconozcamos nuestros pecados. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Yo confieso, I confess. Yo confieso ante Dios Todopoderoso y ante ustedes, hermanos, que he pecado mucho de pensamiento, palabra, obra y omisión, por mi culpa, por mi culpa, por mi gran culpa. Por eso ruego a Santa María Siempre Virgen, a los ángeles, a los santos, y a ustedes, hermanos, que intercedan por mí, ante Dios nuestro Señor. Dios Todopoderoso, tenga misericordia de nosotros. Perdone nuestros pecados y nos lleve a la vida eterna. Amén. Oremos, let us pray. Escucha, Señor, benignamente nuestras súplicas y concédenos que a proclamar nuestra fe en la resurrección de tu Hijo de entre los muertos, se afiance también nuestra esperanza en la resurrección de tus hijos difuntos. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord, and as our faith in your Son, raised from the dead, is deepened, so may our hope of the resurrection for your departed servants also find new strength. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seemed in the view of the foolish to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace. For if in the sight of others, indeed they be punished, yet is their hope full of immortality. Chastised a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine and shall dart about as sparks through stubble. They shall judge nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in the Lord shall, shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his holy ones and his care is with his elect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me, he refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, 
there is nothing I shall want. Lectura de la Carta del Apóstol San Pablo a los Romanos. Hermanos, todos los que hemos sino, sido incorporados a Cristo Jesús por medio del bautismo, hemos sido incorporados a su muerte. En efecto, por el bautismo fuimos sepultados con él en su muerte, para que así como Cristo resucitó de entre los muertos por la gloria del Padre, Así también nosotros llevemos una vida nueva. Porque <coughs> si hemos estado íntima, in, íntimamente unidos por, a Él por una muerte semejante a la suya, también nos estaremos en su resurrección. Sabemos que nuestro viejo yo fue crucificado con Cristo para que el cuerpo del pecado queda, quedara destruido, a fin de que ya no sirvamos al pecado, pues el que ha muerto queda libre del pecado. Por lo tanto, si hemos muerto con Cristo, estamos seguros de que también viviremos con Él, pues sabemos que Cristo, una vez resucitado de entre los muertos, ya nunca morirá. La muerte ya no tiene dominio sobre Él. Palabra de Dios. Te alabamos, Señor. Aleluya, aleluya. Aleluya, aleluya. Vengan, benditos de mi Padre, dice el Señor. Tomen posesión del reino preparado para ustedes desde la creación del mundo. Aleluya, aleluya. El Señor esté con ustedes y con tu espíritu. Lectura del Santo Evangelio según San Juan. Gloria a ti, Señor Jesús. En aquel tiempo, Jesús dijo a, a la multitud, Todo aquel que me da el Padre viene hacia mí, y al que viene a mí, yo no lo echaré fuera, porque he bajado del cielo, no para hacer mi voluntad, sino la voluntad del que me envió. Y la voluntad del que me envió es que yo no pierda nada de lo que él me ha dado, sino que lo resucite en el último día. La voluntad de mi Padre consiste en que todo el que vea al Hijo y crea en él tenga vida eterna y yo lo resucite en el último día. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Excuse me. Jesus said to the crowds, everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Father and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him up on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You know, it's not that we laugh at death, although the festive environment of the Day of the Dead, celebrated in Mexico with its skeletons and skulls, may indicate this. Perhaps we echo that in our celebration of Halloween. 
In reality, the feast affirms the unwavering conviction that the death of the body does not have the final word. We have been given life, abundant, eternal, and full, from God. It is why we can remember and celebrate. We eat the bread of life and are nourished for the journey toward true life. That's what we celebrate today. The death of the people we love is painful, certainly. We think particularly of those more than 200,000 who have died as a result of the COVID virus. The void uh, left by their absence can be overpowering, and yet it also leaves a presence with us, not just an absence or an opening or a void. With as, with as painful as death, as the death of our loved ones it can be, we know and feel that they have not left us and will never leave us entirely. It is a different presence. It is a truth that is much more powerful for us than the finality of death in the tomb. We know it is not our imagination. We know that the force of life remains. No es que no riamos uh, de la muerte, aunque el ambiente festivo del Día de los Muertos, con los esqueletos y las calaveras, parece así indicar. La fiesta en realidad afirma la convicción inconmovible de que la muerte corporal no tiene la última palabra. Se nos ha dado la vida abundante, eterna, plena de Dios. Por eso podemos recordar y celebrar. Comemos del pan de vida y nos alimentamos para el camino hacia la vida verdadera. Y esto es lo que celebramos. La muerte de quienes amamos duele mucho. Deja un peso de ausencia muy fuerte. Sin embargo, también deja presencia. Con todo lo dolor, doloroso que puede ser la muerte de nuestros seres queridos, sabemos y sentimos que no nos han dejado y que nunca nos dejan del todo. Es una presencia distinta. Es una verdad mucho más fuerte para nosotros que el fin de la muerte y la tumba. Sabemos que no es imaginación. Sabemos que la fuerza de la vida está ahí. Firm in the hope of the resurrection, we pray for all who grieve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Para que los terrores de la guerra y el enocidio sean recordados y para que la paz reine en todos los rincones de la tierra, Roguemos al Señor, rogamos Señor, orenos. That all that who have died enjoy the blessing of God's light and love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Para que la memoria de todos aquellos que murieron en la fe desafíe a los vivos a renovar el servicio, roguemos al Señor, rogamos Señor, oyenos. That members of this assembly Visit the sick, care for the dying, and comfort mourners. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Por favor, agregar sus propias intenciones en silencio. Please add your own intentions in silence. Roguemos al Señor. 
te rogamos, Señor, oyenos. Padre de misericordia, tú resucitaste a tu Hijo de entre los muertos. Escucha las oraciones que tus hijos depositan ante ti. Te lo pedimos por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Amén. Bendito sea, Señor Dios del Universo, por este pan, fruto de la tierra y del trabajo del hombre que recibimos de tu generosidad y ahora te presentamos, y será para nosotros pan de vida. Bendito seas por siempre, Señor. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look favorably on our offerings, O Lord, so that your departed servants may be taken up into glory with your Son, in whose great mystery of love we are united. Que te sean gratas, Señor, nuestras ofrendas, para que tus fieles difuntos sean recibidos en la gloria con tu Hijo, a quien nos unimos por este sacramento de su amor, el que vive y reina por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him, the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Santo eres en verdad, Señor, fuente de toda santidad. Por eso te pedimos que santifiques esos dones con la efusión de tu espíritu, de manera que se conviertan para nosotros en el cuerpo y la sangre de Jesucristo nuestro Señor, el cual cuando iba a ser entregado a su pasión, voluntariamente aceptada, tomó pan, dándote gracias, lo partió y lo dio a sus discípulos diciendo, tomen y coman todos de él porque esto es mi cuerpo que será entregado por ustedes. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, esta es la misterio de la fe. Cada vez que comemos de este pan y bebemos de este cáliz, anunciamos tu muerte, Señor, hasta que vuelvas. Así, Padre, así pues, Padre, al celebrar ahora el memorial de la muerte y resurrección de tu Hijo, te ofrecemos el pan de vida y el cáliz de salvación. Y te damos gracias porque nos has dignos de, de servirte en tu presencia. Te pedimos humildemente que el Espíritu Santo congregue en la unidad a cuantos participamos del cuerpo y la sangre de Cristo. Acuérdate, Señor, de tu iglesia extendida por toda la tierra. Y con el Papa Francisco, con nuestro Obispo Pedro y todos los pastores que cuidan de tu pueblo. Y llevará a su perfección por la caridad. Remember your servants, um, especially those of our parish and are, that are being remembered by those who are members of our parish, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Joan of Arc, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Fieras a la recomendación del Salvador, y siguiendo su divina enseñanza, nos atrevemos a decir... Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino, hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día, perdona nuestras ofensas, como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos dejes caer en la tentación y líbranos del mal. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Señor Jesucristo, que dijiste a tus apóstoles, la paz les dejo, mi paz les doy. No tengas en cuenta nuestros pecados, sino la fe de tu iglesia, y conforme a tu palabra, concederle la paz y la unidad. Tú que vives y reinas por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. La paz del Señor esté siempre con ustedes. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Dense fraternamente la paz. Cordero de Dios, que quitas el pecado del mundo, ten piedad de nosotros. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Cordero de Dios, que quitas el pecado del mundo, danos la paz.
Behold the Lamb of God, este es el Cordero de Dios. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world, que quita el pecado del mundo. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Dichosos los invitados a la cena del Señor. Señor, no soy digno de que entres en mi casa, pero una palabra tuya bastará para sanarme. Please make your spiritual communion with the Lord Jesus Christ now. Oremos, let us pray. Te rogamos, Señor, que tus fieles difuntos, por quienes hemos celebrado este sacrificio pascual, lleguen a la morada de la luz y de la paz. Grant, we pray, O oh Lord, that your departed servants, for whom we have celebrated this paschal sacrament, may pass over to a dwelling place of light and peace. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.